Then we have very interesting image accessing properties such as image shape, image data type and image size. So this image shape basically it represents uh, as I already told you that it represents information about number of rows, number of columns and the uh, red, green, blue channel. Similarly if I have this ARGB so this is basically for adding another uh, value to the RGB color space it still represents uh, like number of rows, columns and uh, color channels then we have this gray scale in this gray scale because I have already explained that this only has one color channel so there is no need for comma one so it's just showing number of rows and number of columns image data types usually we work with gray scale images in unsigned integer 8 because uh, we are working in the range of 0 to 255 or 0 to 256 because uh, when we talk about this 8 bit number so it can store values from 0 to 255 or 256 total uh, values similarly image dot size it is multiplication of number of rows columns and then uh, this uh, channel information so these are some functions which i will be showing in implementation too then this is very interesting function which is for conversion of an input image or a, gray, uh, a color image into a grayscale image so syntax is very very straightforward cv2 dot convert color cvt color this is the even, uh, given image and then this is the conversion function cv2 dot color uh, and then red green blue to gray so we write this in reverse order so red green blue to gray so this uh, result is generated and i will be showing you the implement in implementation too that just by uh, like uh, writing this code the uh, provided uh, color uh, image will be converted into the grayscale image then this is another interesting function resizing an image so uh, for resizing what we need to know uh, we need to have this cv2 dot resize this the this is the syntax of the function then we have this source file this source file is basically original image and then we have these sort of parameters so basically uh, d size is the size where we want to like uh, uh, have the conversion of this image uh, into a smaller size or a bigger size then we have this distance then then we have this fx value and f5 value and then this interpolation so here we just have to pass on like uh, in fx and f5 we have to uh, pass on the values of uh, x coordinates and y coordinates and then interpolation uh, means that how much we want to do the resizing of the image so by uh, this is an example which i will be showing in implementation to that what we will doing we will be taking this image maybe if it, this image is of 900 by 900 size then in the resize or desize what we will be doing uh, we will be converting this into maybe 300 by 300 uh, rows and columns and then this interpolation will be there uh, which will decide how much size we have to reduce or, or if we want to increase then how much size we have to increase okay once we are done with doing with the basic functions of OpenCV like reading the image, showing the image, writing the image and then finding out what is the purpose of wait key, what is the purpose of destroy window. Just to be very sure let me repeat all these commands one by one. Image or import CV2 starting from here. This command basically imports OpenCV object or OpenCV structure in your working space. So importing means that this OpenCV different functions will be available in your working directory so that you can use those functions then you have uh, the command for reading an image which is called image is equal to cv2 dot im read image 15 underscore png so if this image underscore 15 dot png is in your working directory as shown here also you can see this image underscore 15 dot png is in your working directory you can easily read that image in your working space so once this is done then you can move towards I am show command which is like displaying the image on your screen and similarly I am write command is there so that you can save the displayed image in your working directory then we have this cv2 dot wait key this is so that uh, when uh, this displayed image remains on the screen until you press the uh, like uh, any key on the system so basically most of the times we will press the cross button at the upper right corner so that the screen closes by 
and then cv2 dot destroy window it destroys all other windows if they are open after you have done programming with the open cv interface so now we will be looking forward some very interesting functions related to open cv such as finding different properties of image which is being loaded such as this cars.png or image underscore 15.png and then applying very basic commands of resizing of the image and maybe some related diff, uh, commands so let's see how we will be working on this one so i have taken the steps from the previous code which we uh, wrote for uh, main.python file and now what i will be doing i will be like writing very basic functions here so let me write some functions so before that one as i said you should always write comments whatever you are going to do so for commenting we are uh, writing like accessing or accessing image properties okay so if i write the first command which is print so print is basically displaying anything which is available so print and then we have to pass some value so this value should be related to like our provided image so first thing i am going to do is print type image so it will uh, return what is the type of the image and most of the time it because image is a combination of rows and columns so it should be returning some table type information so let me check if this command is correct okay so um i forgot this parenthesis okay so hopefully this will run now oh okay so this parenthesis was also missing so img and then we needed this close this parenthesis okay so this is okay now and similarly we have to because of this print we have to add this print parenthesis here too okay let me run this one okay so this is shown as a diagram and uh, as a figure and similarly class numpy dot n dimensional array so image is basically an n dimensional array so it is showing this one so let me write the other command which is print and then like uh, writing uh, what is the like actual size of this image or maybe type of this image or shape of this image okay let's start from the image shape image shape and then uh, this is the hard coded value and then it will be like showing that what would be the image dot shape s h a p e yes so when i write this command and run this again okay so let me run this again by stopping this one okay so when i run this one now okay so now you can see it is displaying image dot shape is 6111916 and 3 so basically number of rows are 611 number of columns are 916 and 3 are the number of channels or rgb values so let's move the, to the third thing which is print image and then i'm going to uh, see like what is the data type of this image so for this one img dot so d type okay let me stop this and run this again okay so you can see this is image data type is unsigned integer 8 similarly let's see the size of the image now print image size size basically okay so size and it would be again let me write this one uh, so it is okay comma img okay image comma sorry uh, image img dot size just a second size okay so when i write this one and uh, let me run this again so when i run this one it will show a number which is multiplication of row into column and basically green channel value or red or color values so okay when i run this one it shows okay so 1679028 okay so these are the very basic properties which are related to the provided image or image underscore 15 now so once this is done this is all done here so we have read basic properties of the image itself now we move towards another interesting part which is related to playing with this image now so for this one 
uh, let me write some comment for this one okay so let's change the color of the image first so convert this color image into a grayscale image so just write change color space and then we define or apply this function for that one we have to give them uh, like uh, change variable name or change image name so just the uh, variable name is change underscore color and cv2 dot like convert color cvt color and here i have to pass image img and then i have to call the function of cv2 dot color then color to bgr2 gray okay so second one color bgr2 gray okay so you change color cv2 dot uh, cv2 dot cvt color image color is changed now okay so when i let me call this one cv2 or change color dot show uh, sorry cv2 dot i am show let me copy this command and write this here okay cv2 dot i am show and here i can write some other name change color yes and uh, this would be change underscore color yes so remaining things would remain same okay so now you can see that this colored image is converted into a grayscale color okay let me stop this one and call our other function okay the so final function which i will be repeating here or i will be representing here would be resize of the image or resize an image this is the com comment and then let's write the code name any name you can use but i'm try to be very specific so that you can understand so maybe resize underscore image or resize alone would be an option cv2 dot resize this is a function name and here i have to call the function So function is image img and then i can change any uh, like size 400 rows 400 columns so initially it was 6 11 rows 9 1 6 columns so i have just like downsized this one so i think for just for working purposes would be a good demo so let me see the error here cv2 dot resize 400 400 okay so one parenthesis was extra okay so let me run this one for you now but before that before that i have to call the function so maybe you can remove this i am show for change color or let it be and then copy this one i am copying this one so here i am like uh, representing resize image so here just resize and then uh, resize would be called okay so this is ready for running now okay let's run this one okay when i run this one So there is an error what is the error 400 400 okay okay so uh, this was missing basically the size we have to give in the separate param uh, parenthesis okay let me run this one again okay so this is you can see now so actual image and then the like resized image is quite small now this one so this was the actual this is the grayscale and this is the resized image okay so this is the actual image and on the right side we have the resized image so you can easily see that the actual image is quite big and the resized image is quite small again these are th three things are available when you run these things